Welcome back to the official Zap Hosting YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to fix internet connection issues on a Windows VPS. So let's get started. The first step in troubleshooting is to verify that your server's network configuration is correct. This involves checking the IP address, subnet mask, and gateway settings. To begin with, access your Zap Hosting dashboard and navigate to the IP addresses page. This page displays all the IP addresses assigned to your machine. Checking this information now is important because it helps ensure you have the correct IP details for later configuration steps. If you are unable to connect to your server through RDP due to a non-functional internet connection, there's an alternative method you can use. VNC console. The VNC console is available directly through our website allowing you to access your server and resolve issues even without an active internet connection. To access it, go to the Tools section in your server's web interface panel and select VNC Console. Then click on the Open Web Client button. A new browser window will pop up which will show you the lock screen of your Windows VPS. To log in, click the top right button to send the unlock command to the server, then enter your server's password and log in. Then, Navigate to your Windows Network Adapter Settings by going to Settings, Network and Internet, Change Adapter Options, Network Adapter. In the list, find the Internet Protocol, version 4, TCP slash IPv4 option and select Properties. Compare the information found in the Adapter Settings to ensure they are correct. For the IP address, use the one found on the IP addresses page in your web interface. The subnet mask is typically the same as mentioned on the screen, and the default gateway should be your IP address with the last segment changed to dot one. Next, DNS server settings. Make sure the DNS server values are correctly configured. We recommend using Cloudflare's or Google's DNS servers for reliable connectivity. After entering and verifying the values, press OK to apply the changes and restart the server. In most cases, this should resolve your issue. If you're still having issues, Check your Windows firewall settings, as it might be blocking necessary connections. Use the Windows search function to open Windows Defender firewall settings and select Turn Windows Defender firewall on or off from the left menu. Try disabling the firewall and restarting your server. If this resolves the problem, it's likely that a firewall misconfiguration is the root cause. If this applies to you, we recommend resetting the Windows firewall rules to default to ensure that the necessary rules are functional again. You can do this by using the Restore Defaults option found in the Windows Defender Firewall Settings menu. If you're still facing issues, please reach out to our support team by either creating a ticket on our website or by using our live chat, and we will be more than happy to help you out. Enjoy your Zap server and have a lovely rest of the week.